Um, well, I was an orchestra and I played violin and uh, <coughs> violin is kind of lame. No, no, but uh, my dad is a bass player and he would uh, play jazz in uh, fancy restaurants on the weekends and during the uh, weekdays he was a uh, music teacher. And so I wanted to be like my dad, I guess. So All right. I, I awesome, started awesome. playing upright bass and orchestra when I was 12. They don't start you until you're like 12 because you're not big enough. But and so I started playing that. Okay, well that, that's that's pretty cool. Uh, you say you play upright and electric uh, bass, right? Yeah, I I don't play upright so much anymore because it's hard to fit it in the car. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. That that's what happened to me when I had mine. I was like, I ain't carrying this. They ship it. To, they shipped it to me in uh on a truck, right? I got it in the house. I'm like, I ain't carrying this nowhere to play this thing nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, what, now what kind of bass you playing then? That, that looks similar to mine. It's an Ibanez. It has four, has four strings on it. And that's about all I know about my Well, I can tell you something about I can tell you something about Ibanez. Ibanez sells a lot of basses. Sure do. I mean, every Everybody, it's like everybody start off with an Ibanez. I got one. I've had, I've had at least four. You had four? I yep. have four. And I'm probably <laughs> going back and get one more. Two six trees and two fives. See? Anybody else I had one? Anybody else have like one? No. How many back from the next Ibanez? You go back to the K base. Once or twice. You ever have an Ibanez, Reggie? Uh, no, I haven't. What? What? Wait, what? Cause he rich. See, rich people don't have to start off on the Ibanez. I ain't never had a left-handed bass. And, and we got two lefties right there. You got, you got. That left hand though, they ain't coming from the left. They ain't right, man. Nobody, man. Yeah, but if you don't go right, you get left. Well, I was left from the right somewhere. Did you know that Ibanez was a dare? Was a what? It was a dare. What? A dare. The owner of um, Melody Music in Pennsylvania dared the uh, Luthier to duplicate the jazz. Oh. And then they started making guitars. Mm. Wow. That's pretty good. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, not only do we have Gwyneth in the house, we also have Lester Collins, Michael Rich. 
Anderson Howard. William Pope the second. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Lester. <laughs> Craig Stone. <laughs> Who we got back there? Bill Pearson. And Rob Will. Kind of, he kind of looks like me. This is my baby brother, you know? Um, and we got Reg, Reg. Of course, we all in the basement. That's B A S S M I N T. M I N T. And we hanging out with Gwyneth. Ooh, I like that. Who, who are some of the um people you started out playing with? It, it, the music, you know, cats you grew up with, and who you playing with now? What you got planned for the future? Can I? Jeez, you gotta buy your ass. <laughs> can, can I buy your <laughs> Can I buy your album? What's going on? Okay. Well, who uh, you start playing with and, and who you playing with well, now? All this I've different. been for some uh, reason I played uh, I played a lot of blues. Um, and I moved to Chicago uh, a while ago and I played Chicago blues for about three years. Uh, I toured with uh, Morali Coriel, the son of Larry Coriel, uh, and uh, for for a while playing. He's like kind of a like soul and blues. And um, how was that touring thing go? What oh, you like it? Yeah, it's fun. Mm -hmm. you know. Okay, who else then? Um, I've played with a lot of uh, Delmark recording artists. Uh, I've played with. Bither Smith, I've played with uh, Alligators, uh, Maurice John Vaughn. Um, I, when I was in Chicago, I played with uh, Quintus McCormick, and he, you know, had an album that came out, and uh, it got uh, nominated for a Chicago Music Award, and some other stuff, uh, whatever. I don't. I didn't lose. <laughs> okay, and, and, and you also a member of uh, the Chicago bass players too, right? Oh yeah, don't 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 tell them. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I am. I am. I'm a I'm a proud member. <laughs> I'm sorry, you know. I just okay. <laughs> I like bass players a lot. I mean, you like Detroit bass players? Yeah, Detroit. Oh. You know what? I like Detroit bass players because we groove. Yeah. That's oh, yeah. how we get down. And we got a nice little page that we all mm -hmm. communicate on. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. What else have I done? I've played. I've been written up in the Buddy Guys Legends magazine. They had a bass player uh, special magazine or whatever, and I was in there. And I played behind Buddy Guy at his club. I played with Larry Coriel that same night too. At, That's cool. At the cl club and uh, what else? That we opened for BB uh, King in, in New York. Woo. I met B.B. King and he's really nice. I, I had a mohawk. Hit. Wow. Yeah, I was born B.B. <laughs> King with a mohawk. <laughs> anyway, okay, well, uh, so all of this stuff, it, it can, is it documented? Where can we find some? You got some oh. YouTube sites? and You can go to GwynethHayes.com. It's G-W-E-N-Y-T-H-H-A-Y-E-S. And um, so I've moved back here and I got kind of... I was playing a lot of blues in Chicago. I was just playing the bass, and then I started singing uh, because, you know, bass players and musicians, they want to keep evolving. And what a lot of bass players do is they, learn, they get all these chops and they learn all this, uh, you know, stuff and how to be the best soloist and do all these licks and stuff. But that just didn't resonate with me. That wasn't what I wanted to do. <laughs> Not necessary either. And I decided, okay, well, what I'm going to do to continue to develop as a musician is I'm going to start singing and playing the bass, and I'm going to learn how to chord and do things so I can accompany myself. Uh, and that's what I, I decided to do. And so that's been somewhat successful, except, uh, you know, I was playing a lot of blues, and other musicians I knew in Chicago were blues musicians, but then when I started to sing and play, I realized I have a jazzy feel, and they didn't like that. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I guess I, 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 so I had to go in another direction, but that's all right. I guess I won't be posting this on ChicagoBassPlayers.com, will I? No, well, you know what? That that wasn't everybody in Chicago. It was just that particular. Oh, you know, okay. And that's and like what he was saying about fusion. I think as a musician, you do become all that you has influenced you. Yeah. And having a father who's a jazz bass player and playing a, a lot of blues, and also having a mother who's a classical pianist, all those things, you know. Uh, and you know, like you know, growing up in my generation, like in hip hop and neo soul and those kind of things, I think 
it all all you know, sticks with you. Yeah, it all you know, being one genre does not work for me. So I'm not going to fit in with any group, but I fit in with all the groups. I guess. Mm hmm. Uh, anybody? You got any questions for this fine basis here? You play piano too? I used to play piano. Uh, I know how it works. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, hey, I just want to say to uh, Gwyneth while she's here, I've been watching her for a long time. I've been watching her for a long time. I watched her. And she, you know how some people, after years go by, you still like right there. Mm -hmm. You never progress. She has progress. I remember when she used to come in and went and sit in here, you know, she see some cats there, you know, she wouldn't sit in. Now she's out there. And you sound great too. Well thanks man. Yeah. It means a lot coming from you. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Now only four or you play both? Four and five? Um, I mean, I could play a five. I just want to answer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you want want to contribute to the five, <laughs> well, that'd be great. You but, never know. I've you been know. known to, uh, you know, yeah. I have a. Uh, but I've been trying to see uh, <laughs> when I was in Chicago. I had a uh, Schechter. Oh. And I uh, had EMGs and everything, yeah. and I liked it. I don't yeah. care. But, I think they sound great. Uh, Anyway, somebody threw a brick through my window and stole my Schecter. <laughs> and, uh, it's horrible. So a fan of mine that I didn't even know from Facebook, just I posted my, my, I was like, my face was stolen and I was totally broke. And just a fan from Facebook looked me up and was like, you know what, I buy myself guitars all the time and I don't even know how to play. And <laughs> I saw you playing at Kingston Mines and I want to help you out. And he bought me a new bass guitar. Wow. That's, 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 you, yes, he bought me this wow. bass. That is so you want to say his name? His name is Soreen. Soreen. Yeah, he's a. I'm not. I don't remember what country he's from, but he's he he came over here and he really liked blues and and music and he you know he saw me playing and he really you know. That is wow. so cool. And he I mean he, he, he it, it was uncondi I mean it didn't have any conditions on it. He just you know gave me a, uh, bought me a bass and so you know I don't know. Uh, it really means a lot to me. Hey, Serene, somebody broke yeah. my house and stole my... <laughs> 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 and stole my 60-inch flat screen TV. <laughs> help, a, help a brother out, man. Because <laughs> I watch it real good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you talked about Terry here. Like I said, he's one of my uh, fa favorite bass players in all of oh, yeah. Detroit. Mm -hmm. And... um. Who who some of the bass players you you dig or you listen to or influence or or uh, from the beginning all um, the way up to now? I think um, um, <coughs> Louis Johnson uh, and um, not that I play any like <laughs> She made me spit my candy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> not that I play it, but uh, I, I love it. <laughs> who else? Um. I think the guy's name was, I can't remember his name, was Alex Al or something like that? Yeah, that is it. From Detroit. I know the Detroit bass player. Yes? Yeah. Man, that cat is bad. Ain't he bad? Yeah, yes, yep. that cat is oh, because yeah. it's, oh, it's mellow and whatever. Yep. Anyway. Yeah, he's and, uh, really good. And um, who else? Proud of him. Uh, man, I can't even think straight. Larry Graham oh, and, you know, yep. um, James Jamerson. And um, um, Johnny B. Gaten. Johnny B. Yeah, Johnny B. from, uh, you know, Albert Collins. All right. And, and, um, James Cloyd. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, you got to put him in. Yeah, man, I got to put him in. You got to put James in. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I played blues for a while, so, you know. And, uh, anyway, I don't know. I can't think of anybody. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know what? I was already playing before Esperanza came out. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, you know, she, of course, was bad, and, and, uh, there's, you know, other female musicians. Um, uh, Mary Hayden. Yeah. Um, so, you know, and it's it's good because I haven't had a whole lot of uh, female uh, role models. I mean, not that male role models are bad, but. But yeah, but you're a lady, and sometimes you uh, want to get inspired by ladies themselves, like. Like Rhonda Smith and right. um, uh, 
Tao, Welkenfeld, uh, Divinity. Yeah, yeah. Michelle and Dago Shaw. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's my girl. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, ye
gentleman, Miss Gwyneth Hayes, Detroit bass player. Thank you guys. Detroit Baseball. Uh, Detroit Baseball.